Connor, Rochdale tomorrow, but first, uh, reflection on last week's win. Uh, I thought we were brilliant from start to finish. Um, some of the phases and some of the chances we created, I think 3-0 probably flattered them a little bit. Uh, it should have been, probably been more. and um, We limited them to, to very, very small chances, if even any. So, um, brilliant performance all around, uh, especially with the heat it was as well. So, it was a tough day physically, but I thought the fitness levels looked brilliant toward the end. And, uh, as I said, it could have been more, so excellent all around, yeah. In pre-season, Dean said one of the main things he wanted to work on this year was the defence. Where, other than Halifax, best defence in the league so far this season. Excellent from all the team. Yeah, brilliant. As you said there, um, excellent from all the team. Obviously, starts from the front and how we press and how we condense the pitch. But I think, obviously, we spoke with Addy Pryor in previous interviews and how excellent he's been since he's come in. So he's been a big asset. And obviously, with Danny and Skip either side of him, um, experienced lads, they're um, perfect partnership uh, to be alongside Addy. So the three of them have been excellent in terms of just that back three, yeah. And you just mentioned there about Danny and, and that back line. Uh, we spoke to him in pre-season. He said Dean said that he needed to add more goals to his game. Four goals already in September. I don't think anyone could have been expecting that. The gaffer needs to tell everyone that then. If they keep adding goals like Danny has. Um, now nah, he's been brilliant. Listen, he was excellent last year, and um, we always felt like he got a lot of contacts on corners last year without scoring. So we knew he, he was obviously good at attacking the ball, but. We asked the question if maybe he could finish them attacks a little bit slightly better. So, as I said last year, he made a lot of first contact. This year, he's converting them contacts into goals, which is obviously excellent. And long may it continue. He's been brilliant. Regardless of goals, I think his general play and his defending has been excellent anyway, which we always know is what we're going to get from Danny. So, for him to add goals is obviously another ring to his ball. Another thing that Dean sort of added this year was more squad depth. We're now entering uh, three weeks of Saturday, Tuesday games. Is this a chance now for players who haven't probably got the minutes to now step up and show why they deserve to be in the starting lineup? Yeah, definitely. Um, Obviously, Idris had a niggle a few weeks back, and um, we've, we've been flying since, so he's not quite got back in yet. Um, he's doing brilliant off the bench, though, but just shows the strength we've got now where when you can have the luxury of having Idris Kano on the bench. So he's an excellent player for us, and we know he's going to play a massive part, and all the lads will be needed. You see, obviously, Winton, Winton Reese, they they basically played half the games each almost now. So we have a lot of we have a lot of options, and I think, as you said, we've got three Tuesday games in a row coming up now, so they'll all be needed. Um, the lads look fresh in training anyway, so we do, we do as much as we can to keep the lads as fit as possible so when they do get a chance, they're ready. So they'll all be needed, as we always say, and long may the form continue. With the amount of games that are now going to come up in the next couple of weeks, as a coach, uh, do you have to sort of change the way you do training with such a short space of time between games? Uh, obviously, you, you, get less, you get less contact time on the grass um, for obvious reasons. Um, obviously, when you haven't got a Tuesday game, you get the luxury of a recovery Monday, train Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So. With the Tuesday games, you're straight back into another match. So when we come in Monday, there'll be recovery. We'll obviously prep all the shop. But as we always say, it's one game at a time. So we'll cross Tuesday when it comes to it. But for now, obviously, it's all focused on Rochdale. And obviously, you know, you're saying Rochdale tomorrow, a team that's come down from the EFL at a way tie. What can we expect from them tomorrow? Excellent side, very possession-based. Um, up there with Gateshead in terms of average possession. So the way they play is brilliant. They try to play for the first. Very brave. Um, got a lot of exciting players. Obviously, with Sinclair, he scored five, I believe, already. So. They've got a real, real tough place to go. Um, I think they're probably a bit lower than what they should be in the table, uh, considering their performance have been so good. So we know it's going to be a very, very tough place to go. As I said, they're an excellent team. And finally, any update to the team news for tomorrow? No, no, no fresh injury concerns. Obviously, everyone's got through Saturday, all right, and also this week. So we move forward with a fresh group, and it's uh, exciting times for us. Yeah. Connor, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers, lads.